YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how we can be making coins this weekend during the Showdown Series promo. We'll be looking at fodder investments. We'll be looking at trading with Fantasy Cards Live. And we're also going to be looking at leaks and expected content in the next few days. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about content today on Friday. Also, guys, if you need coins on this game, they're really cheap at the moment, really easy. Check out u7buy.com. You can use code Teddy at checkout. You get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Code Teddy at checkout, u7buy.com. Go buy yourself some coins. Now, we are going to start off with SBCs. We got a lot of content today, so this might be a lengthy video. I'll try to be as quick as possible. Player SBCs, Bobby Clark and Akanji. They play on Sunday. I believe they expire right before the game plays sometime around then. Um, Akanji is definitely the better player. Let me pull up their prices real quick on Footbin so I can see how much they go for. I think Akanji is like 370. Akanji 375, Clark 396. Now, who is the better card? Man City is going to be better. I think there was a stat someone was uh, talking about on Twitter how Man City away from home at Liverpool have not won a game. I think they said in like the past three years, but Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool squad at the moment, they got a lot of injuries. So um, I think a lot of people are favoring Manchester City at the moment. Uh, basically, whoever wins is going to be the best card is what I would say, because this this Clark, I mean, he's not bad. And for those of you guys that don't know how showdown SBCs work, whoever wins gets a plus two. If it's a tie, it's a plus one for each player. So uh, think about it. I, I'm in a little sneak peek. There's an evolution for these cards and it gives a plus one to every stat, plus two to defending. So imagine if you put this into the showdown evil that's out, plus three to every stat, 90 pace, 90 shooting, 93 passing, 88 dribbling, 80... Eight defending because it's plus two on the defending and then 88 physicality so this card could be insane it's basically whoever wins is going to be crazy um akanji if he does win and you put him into the showdown evolution that came out he's going to be one of the best center backs in the game he's going to be a, a team of the year type level center back we were comparing him to ruben diaz in play style plus wise akanji's got the better play styles uh, I'd say stat wise, Ruben Diaz is just a little better, but they're, they're close. They're close, and the play styles on the kanji, I believe, are better. So, those are the two player SBCs of the day for the, the showdowns, the daily showdowns. And we got a daily showdown challenge as well. This comes with an objective. We'll check that out in a second. For the other player SBC, is it going to pop up? Jerzinho. This guy's expensive. He's almost 2.3 million coins, 16 squads to complete. The only one I care about, though, is right here on a loan. I do the PlayStation tournaments. You guys can see right above me, 9,100 FC points. In less than two weeks, I have almost 10,000 FC points from playing these tournaments. And they are friendlies. These tournaments are friendlies, so you can use loans. I have an entire loan squad. So if you are just starting out, you're like, I can't do, I can't win these PlayStation tournaments. I, I don't have a good team. You can just do the loan part of every icon SBC and your squad is pretty good. Every team in these tournaments, I'm coming up against team of the year loans quite often. It's everyone's using them. So uh, get those loans in, try to win some of these tournaments. They're really easy. You just go onto the PlayStation, click the PlayStation button, go over. You'll see, it'll say register now tournaments. You can just register, register for every single one of them. There's no penalty for registering. And if you don't play, who cares? Maybe... We've had it where you get to the final and you don't even play a game. So you could get lucky and maybe win a tournament without even playing. I've won without playing, but I was I was there. Like I was there every time. It's just my opponents didn't show up. So those are the tournaments. And this is the Jerzinho SBC. It's expensive. I, I don't really think he's that worth it. I think he's behind the power curve, especially when you have someone like Ginola that's out. You have the George Best. I just think it's 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 not great. It's not great. That's what I'll say about that Jerzinho. Now, 
Uh, we talked about Akanji, Clark, Jerzinho. It's a lot of SBCs. And the Daily Showdown SBC. Yeah, so we can get into that now. So the Daily daily Showdown Challenge Premium Gold Player Pack, tradable every single day, is pretty easy to complete. And there's an objective that goes with this. So if we head over to the objectives, there are some extra packs you can get from this. We'll go live and boom, Daily Showdown Challenge completed every day. You get an 83 double every single day you do it so premium gold player pack and an 83 double every single day and it ends with a prime gold player pack nothing crazy but hey it's extra packs on top of the daily challenge also uh nwsl challenge this i i i don't understand why it came out that's that's basically that not too sure bit random but guess what i'm not going to complain about it because crap ton of xp is, the, is their season? Is that what it is? NWSL countdown. Maybe their season is starting soon. I know the, the men's league started. I don't know if the, the, maybe the female started as well. I don't know what their time frame is compared to the MLS. But uh, nonetheless, it's it's great. You get a ton of XP. It's, what is that, 4,000 XP in total? 4,000 XP in total. You get some packs. You get some cards that honestly just kind of look like fodder, to be honest. But um xp and it's made some of these nwsl cards go up in price minimum three in your squad that's what you need to do to complete this and if you look on flipin i think like trinity rodman is ten thousand coins or at least she was ten thousand coins when i checked earlier let's take a peek we'll head over to flipin right now and we'll look up rodman a lot of cards were up like her team of the week flew i think it doubled yeah this is ridiculous she's up a ton uh we'll we'll see what she was before content trap yeah before content two five all the way up at basically 10k her team of the week went nuts as well i'm assuming this is the same with a few of the other nwsl cards people are buying them to go out and do this objective let me see what do we got here basically extinct yeah i so a lot of these nwsl cards flew because of this objective you see right here forty thousand coins basically extinct at 70k so if you're wondering why if you have any of these players in your team, in your club, they're tradable, you might want to sell them because they're up a lot. Or maybe you want to do the objective yourself. Another thing with objectives, the daily play refreshed. Um, not sure why it's it's the fantasy daily play. This is the showdown series promo, and I don't know if it works. Maybe it does. I could be wrong, but I played. I did the tournaments today. I played the ultimate team version of the tournament, so that's technically a friendly. So I'm pretty sure I should have gotten the three games played, but I didn't. Um, so that might just be glitched out. I'm not sure what is happening there exactly. EA probably messed up. Probably a mistake from EA. Are we surprised by that? No, they mess up all the time. Uh, it's EA Sports. So let's be real with ourselves. Uh, now the evolution, the new evolution, so much content. This is really cool. This evolution is free and it lets you boost any showdown plus. Keyword showdown plus. So that's a showdown player, any showdown player. These are previous ones as well that you can boost that have won or drawn. So anyone that's gotten an upgrade. So if Akanji wins his game, and on top of winning his game, you put him in this evolution. This is what his card would look like. So Akanji would be a 91 because he, he'll go from an 89 to a 91. But you do the evolution. This is what his card would end up looking like. And it's it's pretty nasty. So I like this evolution. I don't think you should do it yet. We have two weeks to complete it. So two weeks to complete this evolution. You can kind of just wait for this showdown series promo to finish and then see. Get an idea. Maybe Joao Felix comes out and he's nasty. Maybe you're not going to want to use this Evo on a Kanji. You're going to want to use it on Zhao Felix. So awesome evolution. It's free. Definitely wait on it, though. I would not rush into getting that done. Uh, what else? That was content wise with SBCs, with objectives, with evolutions. The store was crappy. We got the you can see right here kind of right next to me you saw on the loading screen as well the best of campaign re-release came out i told you guys how you could probably buy some of these cards if they got put back into packs and um they got leaked early they were getting leaked early so if you were there at content drop there really wasn't much to do because these players were getting tweeted out before the promo even came out and uh i'm assuming they're up in price like we talked about someone like a tio hernandez if tio hernandez got a card his gold would rise I believe it's his, is that the dynasty? 
I think it's his dynasty that's in the promo. And if we check his card, yeah, he was probably rising before content drop. This is yesterday on Friday. Yeah, it's it's just leaks. Someone had the leak early and they bought up because, I mean, are you serious? This card went from 4,600 coins to 6,600 coins before content drop. Yeah, right. It's just leaks. So uh, that was unfortunate. I was hoping we'd be able to make coins at content drop because of that, but that did not happen. And I'm not going to look at the best of cards too much because I don't think you guys care that much. And I think the store shows that. Let's talk about the store. Um, I was telling you guys about how we could potentially may be making coins today, this weekend with the 84 times 10 coming back and the 85 plus times seven pack coming back. And we didn't get those lightning rounds right away. We had to wait like an hour and then two hours for the 85 times seven to come out. But guess what? Even when the 84 plus times 10 came out and the 85 plus times seven came out, none of the packs were selling. Literally, like if you looked at the lightning rounds today, none of them are selling. Like it would be 70,000 packs get released and an hour or two hours later, they sold 1300 packs. So barely any supply. Uh, that did not help bids at all. There was obviously some supply. You have the foot champs. You do have, I guess, some supply from the packs being open, but it was nothing crazy. Bids weren't insane. So kind of unfortunate there. And, uh, those, that was the store lightning rounds crap. It's, it's going to be probably besides the showdowns pack wise, I'm not going to expect anything super insane. I will say these store packs are interesting. Um, 1000 XP. I didn't notice that. So 1000 XP for this 50k pack, but there's another 50k pack that was here. I opened it. Uh, it's a encore boost bag, I think is what it was called. 50,000 coins, 200 FC points. It's out for a week and it allowed you to pack any promo card, any previous promo card. You see these, these are all the best of promo cards, but the 50k pack was every promo card that has ever come out in this game. That includes team of the year. So we opened a few of them. The odds of packing a team of the year were so low. It was it was less than 1% chance, but it was 50,000 coins. We took a gamble. The pack sucked. Uh, no team of the years. I think someone on Twitter got team of the year Karchawi, but we got nothing from it. Really unfortunate. Let's see what this tweet is. It's nothing. I'm just seeing if there's any more showdown links that are going to be coming out during this video while I am filming it. Uh, what else was there? There was a, oh, tradable. I told you guys, if you had any, is that the one? Where is it? There's one of these packs. One of these packs is tradable and it's old promo cards. So I told you guys about the best of campaign coming out. Be very careful with old promo cards because if they come back into packs. They can go down in price. This one right here, first half super encore pack. It's every, it's all these promo cards, Ultimate Dynasty, Team of the Group Stage, Winter Wildcard, FC Versus, Road to the Final, Team of the Year Honorable Mention, Future Star, 87 or higher. It's tradable. The pack is tradable. So old promo cards are getting packed. You're seeing some supply. And um, yeah, like I said, just be careful with any old promo cards that you have in your teams. And that's it. I don't want to ramble on about these packs too much. There was an icon pack. I think it was this one. It's 400k, but it's not just an icon pack. It includes heroes. So you're probably just going to end up packing heroes and you're going to get scammed. Now, holy crap. So much content today. Uh, that was a lot to go over. Let's go into the market now. What happened today? Let's head over to Footbin. The fantasy cards were really interesting. I hope you guys listened to some of my fantasy card tips. I told you guys about Politano, how you should sell Politano. I don't care that he only needed two more goals to potentially get his upgrade the final upgrade there wasn't much more room for him to rise because he was a 90 90s are like 40k for they're, they're like 45 and then 91s were like 55 and this dude was was basically that price so it was like just sell and buy other fantasy cards and if you didn't sell they only scored one goal they did not get the two goals they needed so we dropped all the way down to almost 40k he's 42k and he's still cheaper if we look on footbin cheapest player by rating he is the cheapest 90 overall card by pretty much 4,000 coins because they're 46K. So I was telling you guys, if you want to pick some of these up, I think I said like 42K, but try to get for less than that, maybe on snipes. And then just keep lazy listing for like 46, 46.5, probably 46.5. And I would expect these 90s to potentially be rising with, we still have a Yashin Icon SPC that's supposed to come out. The Icon SPC refreshes tomorrow on Saturday, and then we should be getting showdown SBCs every single day. So this Politano could rise 
and should probably rise back up to the other 90 overall fodder price. He just got panic sold because so many people were still waiting for him to go to a 91, which it just, it's so close. Why would you, he's going to be fodder anyway. He couldn't have really risen that much more. So I hope you guys sold and bought other fantasy cards. Another fantasy card, which was a funny one, was Barcelona. Gundawan had a penalty. This dude missed. This dude missed his penalty kick. They did win their game, so he's not down. If they didn't win the game, he would have been down a lot. They did win though, so he's not down a crazy amount. He went from 250 all the way up to 300k, and then he's he's down right now because you know he, he didn't score. He should have. He's on pens and he missed. Um Gundo could do good. He definitely could be a very solid card. It's just gonna depend on i think their next two games the next one i believe is against atletico madrid so it's gonna be tough yeah atletico madrid's gonna be tough but then they should beat las palmas and that is his fourth game um this is a card watch live if he scores he's gonna go up a lot that's what we were watching we were watching the barcelona game for this gunda one today but dude missed a penalty so unfortunate there uh i want to talk about these fantasy cards so those were the we talked about Politano, the Gundo. I just kind of wanted to mention them. I want to talk about the fantasy tracker now. Cards to watch. Guys, tomorrow. Uh, Investment-wise, there's not a crazy amount. There's a leak that we're going to talk about towards the end of this video. But investment-wise, you could do fodder, but I'm not super obsessed with it. If anything, I'd be looking at the lower rated fodder. We'll talk about it a bit later. But I have nothing that I'm like in love with. Like, yeah, you, you should do this investment. The only thing I'm really watching is still these fantasy cards, which I know I sound like a broken record. I keep talking about them, but I like these cards a lot. Now, cards to watch tomorrow. I would be watching these cards live. I would be watching these cards live because their upgrades depend on it and you can buy them live depending on how the game is going. Upgrade number one, uh, fantasy card number one, Matson. This dude plays tomorrow, Dortmund versus Werder Bremen. If he gets another win, guess what? That's the upgrade secured to an 89. And then he's probably going to make his third appearance. So that's the upgrade to... A 90, so keep an eye on this card. 90 overall cards are what, 45K? I don't think this guy would be fodder, so I think he, he's already up at 45,000 coins. I think I told you guys yesterday to buy him for like 40, 41, something like that. Even 38, how's that looking on PC? He's up on PC as well. I think we said 35K on PC, but keep an eye on him. Good game, uh, big game tomorrow. They should win. Another one, Lee Malou. If they get their second win, if they get their second win, that's another upgrade on Lee Malou. And that means he's probably very easily going to a 90 overall card because he plays every single game. As long as he does not get a red card or he gets injured, he will be getting all the upgrades not except the 11 goals. And he'll go to a 90 overall card. 90 overall cards, 45K. This Lee Malou is still 29,000 coins. So there, there's some good cards to be watching tomorrow for sure. What else did I write down? Orban and Molina. Molina. They play against Cadiz tomorrow. I don't know where Cadiz are in La Liga, but another win is an upgrade. Another appearance is an upgrade. And a clean sheet is an upgrade. So this is a this is a, a big one right here. This dude could be getting a triple upgrade potentially tomorrow to a 90 overall card if it goes well i know he's a defender so investing based off of a clean sheet is kind of risky because you can concede in the 95th minute and then boom clean sheet gone but just a heads up a lot of potential on this molina for a triple upgrade tomorrow so that's a big game to be watching and then what else do we have pedro poro by the way apparently he's good to go if he's playing this weekend, he should go up in price. I told you guys, this could be one of the best ones. He was like 20, 21K when I said that. It just depends if he plays. Looks like he might be fit. He's already up to 25, almost 26,000 coins. A lot of potential on this Pedro Poro, a lot. If you see him in the starting lineup, you could you could gamble right now. If you want to trust Ange Postavamalu, I don't know how to say Spurs manager's name. If you want to trust him that Pedro Poro is going to play, this dude could very, very easily go to a 90 overall card on march 30th that's when they play luton town and he could honestly get four upgrades because they're on three goals already they play luton at home this dude could get the 11 goals he should definitely get the two wins if he makes an appearance in these last three games if he's he's fit he's good to go that's he could very well get all upgrades he definitely could and it would be a ridiculously good card. So if you want to take a gamble, I think you can still look to buy those Pedro Poros. Orban plays tomorrow. This dude, if he keeps a clean sheet, he's probably going to go up a good chunk. So keep an eye on the Orban. They are up against SV Darmstadt. I think they're not good. I think they're garbage. So probably 
hopefully keeps a clean sheet there. And then I think that was it for games tomorrow. There might be some of the higher rated ones, but I didn't really look at those. I was just looking at the lower risk cards. Condreva tomorrow, you know what? You could watch him if he scores. He's going to go up a good amount. Uh, what is it? Sal, I don't even know his team's name. Salan, Salaniyatana. I don't know his team name, but if he scores tomorrow, he'll be a good one. And Jan Kuzo keeps a clean sheet. That'll be a good one. There's a lot of games tomorrow. If you just go to players, trackers, fantasy on Footbin, you can see all these cards. I wanted to share these with you guys because there's there's definitely some big games. A lot of potential profits to be made. I'll be streaming tomorrow on Saturday. I'll have these games up. What I usually do is go to Footmob. So I'll go like this and I'll track the games live and we can kind of invest live based off of that. Um, I'll be live tomorrow on Saturday doing this. I won't be live on Sunday though. Sunday, I have to help Brooke, my girlfriend with her dance recital. So, um, won't be live on Sunday, but tomorrow, Saturday, we will be doing these fantasy cards. So those are the fantasy cards. Let's talk about other investments. Leak discord, leak discord said team of the weeks. Now, why would a leak discord say to buy team of the weeks? Tomorrow is Saturday. You guys know Saturday is when SBCs come out. We get the 83 times 10, the 84 times five. What would be coming out on Saturday? I don't really know. Uh, our options are 83 times 10, 82 times 20 is what I think quite a few people in the stream were thinking. So 82 times 20. How is that going to affect team of the weeks? Maybe, maybe these team of the weeks do good because there's not a lot of packs being opened as well. Like supply wise, we saw in the store, the lightning rounds, they're really not selling. So not a lot of supply that could help these team of the weeks stay up in price because not a lot of people opening packs, not packing team of the weeks, not listing team of the weeks up. So could be good. But if it's an 82 times 20 tomorrow on Saturday, people don't really like that SBC. It's garbage. It's two squads. So people don't like that. It's not like, okay, 82 times 20, I can recycle it. Like the 83 times 10, you can just keep recycling that SBC over and over again, as long as you have a team of the week. 82 times 20, you can't really do that. So if it's an 82 times 20 tomorrow, I don't expect team of the weeks to go crazy. I don't. This is the 84 times five. This is this has been refreshing every day required team of the week. That's definitely keeping the team of the weeks up in price. They're inflated right now because of that. But if it's the 82 times 20 tomorrow, I'm not sure if we're really going to see team of the weeks go up a lot more, if at all, to be honest. So tomorrow, I think it's going to depend. What do we get for the SBC? If it's the 83 times 10 or the 84 times five again, team of the weeks are easily going to go up in price easily with the daily showdown SBCs, with the uh, icon SBC refreshing tomorrow on Saturday, with more upgrade SBCs potentially coming later in the week. I think team of the weeks could do good, but it just depends is it an 82 times 20 or is it something like an 83 times 10 tomorrow on Saturday? We should be getting something when this 84 times five expires tomorrow. So that's the situation with team of the weeks. I'd say, I mean, they're 31 five. If you want to try to get them for like 31 K on bids, I'd probably try to aim for that 31 K or less. The absolute max I think I would go to is 32. I, I would not, I don't even like paying more than 31 to be honest, because that's it's it's expensive it's expensive at the moment so that is team of the weeks leak discord they're pretty much always right so i would expect something to require team of the weeks tomorrow on saturday and in 82 times 20 it makes sense so we talked about that let's talk about fodder now uh it's pretty low and we are getting showed on sbcs every single day uh if you're on a low budget i think i would just stick to the 84s if these 85s get closer to like four thousand coins i'd make a move there but i i I think I want to see these get a little cheaper. 84s, I mean, these guys are so close to min price. And I was looking at bids today and they were easy. If you're on a low budget, you could just sit here and go gold rare. 1100, 1200, boom, 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 boom. 11, 12, 9, 9, 10K, make it gold rare and hit search. This should pop up with quite a few 84s. And look, 1100 coins, I'll bid 1200. Why not? 1100, I'll bid 1200. The max I would pay is 1200 coins. And um, if you can get them for 1100, that's crazy. That's amazing if you can get these for 1100 coins. And then I would just go up and list them up for 1500 coins. You'll make about 225, I think. It might be 225 coins on the dot per card. And if you can just keep a full transfer list of this going at all times, you'll be making good coins. And then hopefully 84s rise. And I mean, they can't really get lower. Their min price is 1100. So the lowest you can get these for is 1100 coins. You can buy them for 1200 knock yourself out. I think that's great. So 
that's 84s. I think it's fairly low risk buying them um, and just keep listing for like 1500. Will they maybe get fairly low this weekend and actually end up being 1200, 1300? It's very possible, especially with the 84 times 10 refreshing every single day. Uh, that's going to be bringing a lot of, if it does refresh every single day, that would bring a lot of supply to these 84s and it'll keep them low, but it's, it's so low risk. 1200 coins. We've seen these cards easily go over 2000, easily go over 3000. If the right SBC comes out, if I remember correctly, let me look at the 82 times 20, the 82 times 20 could actually make 84s rise. Let me just look it up real quick. We have to look at expired SBCs on flipping. And if we look up 82 plus times 20 yeah here we go so how much does this sbc cost it's an 83 squad with 186 minimum eight okay no never mind take it back to, that is expensive really for an 82 yeah this this sbc is baloney i hope it's not that tomorrow uh we'll see and yeah that's my take on 84s and, and, and that's really the investments. We're watching fodder. It's definitely getting low. It might do decent with the showdown SBCs, the showdown series that we have. But my favorite thing is still just these fantasy cards. I, it's, it's safe. They're very easy to do. And if you're okay with live trading, live trading with these cards, like I said, you go to Tracker Fantasy, you can watch these cards, watch their games live. I use Foot Mob to do that. And if say Molina keeps a clean sheet, he's going to go up in price. If uh, Mamouche scores a goal or gets an assist, he's going to go up in price. I think live trading, same thing with Gunduan, scores, he goes up in price. Live trading with these fantasy cards is probably one of your best bets this weekend. Uh, I think that's really just going to be what we focus on. Uh, now, expected content. So tomorrow, Saturday, expect obviously a showdown SBC, obviously expect an SBC to replace the 84 plus times five. Uh, we have Yashin. We're still waiting on Wolf and Nauf are also leaked to be getting showdown cards. And I think, oh, we got Hoyland, by the way. Not really worth it. Might be a fun card if you're a United fan. He's got the aerial playstyle plus and I forget what the other one was. But yeah, you can see here with the leaks. They had the leaks early of these promo cards. Um Aerial playstyle plus on him. It might kind of make him like Holland, where the meta is just cross the ball and they head it down. And then he has another one. I think it's I think it's a, a running playstyle, if I'm correct. I'll double check it real quick. And then other expected content. Uh tomorrow, Icon SBC refreshes. Sunday should be a hero SBC. Uh Sunday hero SBC, live trading fantasy cards, and then daily showdown SBCs every single day. We got Dybala today. Looks pretty decent. And then Hoyland real quick. I'll pull him up. And that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this video, comment section down below. Yeah, the Quick Step Playstyle Plus. My trading Discord, my Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.